the vet staff was doing a general health exam today on both of the cubs. So we got weights on them and they put a transponder um, underneath the skin between the shoulder blades of the younger female cub. Um, they also dewormed them for the first time and just did a general once over health exam to make sure everything looked and sounded good. I'm the cheetah biologist here at the Smithsonian's Conservation Biology Institute and we've had a really exciting month. Um, in the past four weeks we've had our first two cheetah births here at the National Zoo Center in Front Royal. The first female gave birth to a single cub. She will, within the first three weeks, stop producing milk and therefore won't be able to sustain a single cheetah cub. We knew that our older female also was due to give birth the following week. So we hand raised or bottle fed the first single cub for about 13 days in the veterinary hospital here at the center. And then when our second female gave birth also to a single cub, we used a management tool called, called cross fostering. It's pretty rare in North America. This is only the sixth time that it's been tried. Um, and interestingly, all six times it's been successful. So we're really excited about that as far as having that management tool. Zazie has been amazing and she is doing wonderfully raising both of the single cubs. They're gaining a lot of weight every day and very mobile and active and all doing very, very well. The cubs are starting to show some individual temperaments as well. SCBI is part of the Conservation Centers for Species Survival, or C squared S squared, and that is a group of five large landholding institutions in North America. And all five of the institutions have made commitments to having cheetah breeding and research facilities. This year, all five of the centers produced cheetah litters, which is wonderful, and that's actually part of why the SSP has such a great year of cub production. I'm very hopeful for the cheetah population in North America. I think that we have excellent gen genetic diversity in the population, and as more cubs are produced every year at these breeding centers, we're going to be able to bolster the demography and the animal numbers that we have in the population. And we have a really strong plan in place now for developing a self-sustainable cheetah population in North America, which we've never had.